So what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Queen Faith here. Um, as you can see, we have a mukbang for you. And once again, it's my sister. And uh, here today we have crab legs. Y'all see more of what we have. You want to tell them what you have in yours first? I don't know what I have in mine. <laughs> crab legs, shrimp, corn, my egg, my one free egg. What about the potato? Oh yeah, I see the potatoes right here, I think. So I have crab legs, corn, potatoes, sausage, clams, shrimp. I needed it all. And of course we have our favorites. This is not sponsored by Simply Lemonade, but if y'all want to hit us up, us up. okay, hit us up, okay. And you want to hit us up. So, yeah, we're going to dig in because I've been waiting to eat crab legs oh. all day. I got some extra wipes in case we don't have enough. We got some paper towels. You know, this, this might get a little messy. Okay. So, let me tell y'all something. Getting all this is expensive. That part, <laughs> first of all, when she said that total, I was it's like, say what now? <laughs> expensive. Could have bought me a bag for this money. Okay, that's me. That's my thought process. Listen, y'all, it's hard. Let me go ahead. Open these up. I'm about to tell you, so give me one. Easy reach. Oh, you want one? Just in case. You ain't gonna use those? Oh, that is true. I'm praying for my food though. Right. You praying? You praying. It's your channel. <laughs> it's not my channel. <laughs> Father, name do you think for the school? Yes, that you sanctified and purified for the nourishment of our physical bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we have the gloves that came with them too. You want to use the gloves? No, I don't <laughs> use the gloves. I don't use the gloves, but I ain't know how my sister's eating them. I don't know how to eat these. Um, last time I had these, I was with oh, my girl. husband, steaming still. and he broke open the crab legs for me and took the meat out so I could eat them. So that's so sweet. My husband was doing that for me too, and I think he got tired of it, so he taught me how to do it myself. Don't know how to do this at all. I really don't. Let's get the first. I'm gonna eat this um, shrimp first. Oh, so I got medium spice. Mm, I got mild. <laughs> I ain't got a kick to it. But it's definitely good. Um, Y'all, I can't eat spicy foods. <coughs> Period. Like, I can't do it. She really doesn't do spicy well at all. So, um, anything with the slightest hint. And when I tell y'all this it, restaurant. I can't do it. Okay, how you do it? Okay, so what we're gonna do is get a bigger crab leg. Okay, I broke it. Then what you do? Goodness. So you separate these parts. Did right I pick the wrong one? What am I holding right now? Oh, that's hard. I still give that part to my husband for him to crack for me. Okay, so I need to get this number. <coughs> I just ate a clump of seasoning. Look at <laughs> Man, I wanted to come out whole. Wait, what you do? You suck it out? Not me. How you get it out? There was meat on that. Half the time I have to do this number and break the crab leg open. How do you break it open when it's skinny though? I don't know about that. That's a little one. Oh, girl, you got that hard leg. Why am I so bad? You grab one that ain't as hard. Like you pay all this money and you can't even eat it. What is the one that's not as hard? That second one right there. Okay, I'm taking this off. And then what I do? So I'm about to show you. I'm taking my next one. Move the meat out of that part. Why can't I break it off? Damn, you want to? I'm not going to. I'm just separate this in. 
do this, break this way, break this way. Is this one you already broke this off? Yeah, this part right here. Okay, now break this one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is too hard. Y'all, I don't work hard for food. That's why I don't eat sunflower seeds because you got to... Black, 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 black seeds. <laughs> you got to... Um, you got to break them open to get into them. Like, y'all ain't going to catch me shelling pecans. Like, none of that. I can't go up. You can't work for food like that. <clears throat> you like, give me something easy to eat. With the pecans, they going to make you pay if they already come shell. I'll buy them like that. I literally buy sunflower seeds, y'all, that have that are out of side of their shells. This is not a game at all. Let's try this clam. Did I get clams? No. Why not? Because you didn't want them. I didn't say that. <laughs> they are home. I should have brought a pitcher of water. Is yeah, this spicy? Are you the one who said you want it spicy? Mm-mm. I'm saying medium. Yeah, which, which is spicy? Oh, this is good. Whoo. Yum. We gotta get that topic, but my mouth gotta get on fire first. <laughs> <laughs> Since your mouth ain't on fire, you get two topic. Oh. What's the topic? That's too good. Spicy food. <laughs> I don't eat that stuff, cannot relate at all. I cannot relate. I know that um but what about when you break it and it don't like come out? We need those things. Don't I have tools for this, y'all? I know they have tools for this. Oh, there it went. Mm. So, topic is, um, I don't know, broad topic. Can I have a clam? Um, hmm. So, things I've noticed, it's not a clam. It is. That's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I ain't lying. Things I've noticed being on YouTube that are confusing um, to me. So, I don't know if anyone has really noticed, um, and it's not the top of this video because he's gonna, you know, talk about this later, but a lot of the really big YouTubers are not black. I don't know if y'all noticed that or not. And don't be the person to come in the comments and say, oh, well, they're just one right, right here. Right, right. We didn't say that none. We did not. That's why y'all gotta watch this other thing. Stop commenting on videos and you haven't watched them all the way to the end. Because you don't know what somebody's saying. Mm -mm. They could have said one thing and then if it was wrong, they could have come back later on in the end. I was like, you know what? I just realized that I misspoke. Mm -hmm. Earlier in the video, but now you down here in the comments, dip, dip, dip. you ain't watched the whole video, so calm your buns, okay? But I'm not gonna respond. I did not misspeak when I said what I said was that most of the big YouTubers, most as in majority, are not black. No melanin. That's what I said. Okay, this is a poor game. Y'all the clarifying statements of what that means. Um, why do you think that is? Should I answer why I think it is? No, you're going to talk about that later in the other video. Mm -hmm. But keeping that in mind, um, obviously, like I said, I said most of I did not say all, but yeah, you know, you got some creators out here, me, you know, trying to come upon the platform a little bit. And I am too, even though I ain't growing as fast. Girl, I've been on YouTube way longer than you. She mm -hmm. has. <laughs> way longer. But y'all, y'all see I've been putting in that word. 
I got a hundred thousand videos. She does. <laughs> she has more videos than me at this point. Whatever you so. want to see, I got it. She does for real. Um. So one thing that I don't understand. Let's talk about Jackiana, for instance. Okay. Okay. I ain't gonna. I can't talk specifically. <laughs> I don't. I ain't subscribed to yeah, the channel. Yeah, I'm sure that's videos. probably one of the um. <clears throat> One of the ones that came to mind when somebody wanted to say, oh, there are um, mm -hmm. big black YouTubers. Probably thought about Jackiana. Um, How many subscribers does she have? She got like 3.58 million last I saw her last video. Tell y'all something. Jackiana, as far as YouTube, is technically my current goals, okay? But she still got places she want to be, I'm sure, as far as her YouTube growth. And you will hear her speak on it on this topic as well. But just saying, um, I feel like she's been on the platform for 10, 11 years now. For real? Yes. She is like the biggest black beauty guru YouTuber. Um, I do know that information about her. I just don't subscribe to her channel. Yeah, I mean, you don't do beauty and makeup stuff, yeah. so that makes sense. <laughs> um, I watch that kind of content, so I am subscribed. Um, so, I feel like, and she feels like too, she should be a lot further on the platform, but I'm going to tell you why she's not. It's literally because, okay, here's my thing. Nothing to get, like, don't think that we don't like white people or don't something. Don't try to get personal. Okay. But honestly, I get very little out of watching a white beauty guru. And that's simply because I'm black. <laughs> like, it's, um, and, I, and I don't even watch all black ones. You know, like I want to watch people who are closer to my skin tone. Mm. Because that's what's most helpful to me. You no, know, it's kind of like with the hair thing, watching all the mixed girls do their hair on YouTube. Exactly. That's not helping me. Mm -hmm. Real nigga rich over here. That is the same thing. So, mm -hmm. I don't subscribe to all um hair people because you don't have hair like me. You don't look like me. My hair is never going to look like yours, and I don't want it to. I'm just going to go find somebody who has a um curl pattern that's more similar to mine. But that's you. Other people ain't gonna do that. So, yes, that's that's the point that I'm making here. So, for example, there are white beauty gurus who have way, like, multiple times subscribers than Jackie has. And one reason is literally because you will have black people who are not subscribed to Jackie but they will subscribe. And I, you know, you can like people and everything, but honestly, it just doesn't really make logical sense. Like, why would you, why are you quicker to subscribe to them than to Jackie? And I say that because, you know, just based on my own personal experience, I do a lot of handbag reviews, unboxings, things like that over on my channel. And there was one comment, um, and in one particular instance, I was the first person on YouTube, other than the actual designer of the bag, I was the first person who was not the designer of the bag to do an unboxing. It's hard of the to be bag. first on YouTube, too. It is. YouTube is such a huge platform. So I was the first person to do this. And someone, um, they came and subscribed, so I appreciate them for that. They did subscribe. They didn't comment on the video or anything. But then, um, yeah, I'm struggling with this crab leg. And I'm over here just eating like <laughs> right. talk. But then, maybe a, a week later or something, um, somebody. Well, after you had already. Yeah, I saw somebody comment on somebody else's video who happened to be white. And they were like, oh, I'm glad um, you showed this bag. This is this um this video really made me this video made me buy this bag. So here's my question. Why did that video make her buy the bag? Why didn't my video 
make her buy the bag. So let me tell you something. First of all, black people don't trust other black people. That is very true. Honestly, it's sad, but that's true. And that ain't just on YouTube. That's in anything. Mm -hmm. They wait for validation from other races, mostly white races, mm -hmm. before they're like, yeah, that's cool. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the reason why it's really hard. <laughs> like, you would think, um, oh, this is, you know, because people love support. That's nothing. We can talk about support. <laughs> Let's talk about the lack of support in the black community. People love to say, support me, support me, support this. But do you support other people? I feel like it's the first people to say, support me, who do not support other people. Mm -mm. They're like, like and share my video. Or would y'all support me if I did this? And I'm like, did, are you supporting other right, people? because you got to show that you actually show love people sometimes first. Not all the time. Right. But sometimes first. So, if one of my friends is doing something, I'm going to check you out. And if it ain't lame, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to support what you got going on. Right. Because getting stuff off the ground, that's what you need. Mm -hmm. You need core people supporting you until other people hop on. Right. And it's always people who knew the stuff. So, like, me being involved in business, I'd always share stuff, you know, even with our sister. Share her stuff. And I notice people either don't like it or they just don't interact with it at all. But then all of a sudden, they got a business. Yeah, y'all know we got to support each other. I'm a small business out here. And it's like, mm -hmm. where was that same energy when I was trying to tell you to support what I had going on? Mm -hmm. And I think it boils down to the point that people selfish. They are extremely selfish. And that ain't just black people, but black people let that get them way too often. Because... If I'm telling you, hey, I got this going on. Oh, I'm doing this raffle. You know how many of my friends was like, you know what? I ain't even want the prize. But because of you, I'm about to I'm about to ticket and support you. People don't do that. Mm -hmm. Like if I see a raffle going on, I will likely participate. Because that's how you, that's how businesses run, especially if they're smaller. You get your name out there. Right. If I don't participate, at, participate, I'm going to share it. I don't care if we ain't talked in five years. Mm-hmm. I'm going to help you with that exposure. I'm not hating on nobody out here. And that's why it don't make sense when you see people out here either refusing to support what you got going on. Or pretending like they don't see it. Right. And that's what most people do. And even, what, what did you say earlier? Um, if I like it to be valuable or something. Like some people, I need to go back and do it too. That's the other thing. Um, cleaning up. I did it a while back. Like cleaning up people. You know, some people do the whole follow the unfollow thing. Um, on Instagram. And I went through, you know, a couple months ago, just cleaning up those people. And yes, yes, I will go back through periodically and see who unfollowed me because that's just like mind boggling to me that you're following people so they will follow you back and then you're going to unfollow them. Like what kind of person, like y'all amaze <laughs> me sometimes, like the, the kind of people mm -hmm. people are like, it really does amaze me. Um, and on that too it's like y'all it really is free right it's free to subscribe it's free to hit the like button it's free to drop a comment if you feel like it even if it's hey I might not respond right yeah that's the other thing like people love leaving hateful comments um, but people rarely show love in the comments right 
Um, but yeah, YouTube engagement, good engagement or bad engagement is engagement for the purposes of YouTube, okay? So, and then the thing, like I said, on Instagram, like it is so like, it literally takes you half of a second to double tap on a picture. People will look at your picture. Or it's one millisecond. Yeah, one <laughs> right. Millisecond. And literally just like keep scrolling by. Like you couldn't like it. You know. <clears throat> but then, like I said, first ones to say. I'm on that Pam Newton energy. <laughs> but did you double tap? Right. First ones to say. Oh, would y'all support me? Support me. I'm doing this now. Like. I'm just so confused. Be like share my stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's like people don't understand how important it is until they get in that situation, right? And then they really only see how important it is for them because they still don't go and start showing support to other people, right? I exactly. just want you to support them. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand you never being in that situation, you not knowing, but once you learn and you still only about yourself, come on now. It just shows the type of person you are. Exactly. And that's the thing. Like, people... I mean, and why are you following accounts on social media that you don't like? Exactly. I will help you out. If you still following me and you ain't ever liked my picture or ever looked at my story, ain't no use in you following me. So ain't no use in me following you. Right. And that's why I said I, I need to go back through and clean up. That was my next step. I was going to clean up inactive people. People who never liked my posts. Mm -hmm. Look, I'll, um, there's a way you can do it. I forgot, but there's a way like you can do it where you can make them unfollow you too. Oh, it asked me. So that's what I was going to do because, you know, I ain't want nobody to think I'm doing no follow to unfollow stuff because I'm not. Oh, you can make um, that all you want to. Find, figure out because if you I don't ever look at my story. And I want you to unfollow me back because you're not interacting. So mm -hmm. the common point is for both of us. Mm -hmm. At that point. So we got the point. We're talking about YouTube and the black stuff. Right. Um, I mean, it's all of them. Say, There's so many black people into beauty. Like, they want to do makeup. Mm -hmm. They make sure they, they put their makeup on every day. You should be looking at people who look like you. Like, as far as other content, look at yeah. whoever you want. Exactly. But for appearance type things, they ain't going to be able to help you. No Hispanic person going to be able to help you. No Asian person is going to be able to help you. No white person is going to be able to help you. Like, what, what you, what you going to get from them? Y'all can't use the same anything. And I don't know nothing about makeup. Now, but I'm not fitting to watch Susie do makeup when me and Susie have the same skin tone. <laughs> Now, like I said, you might genuinely like someone's personality. You know, by all means, please subscribe. I'm not saying don't subscribe to them. I'm just talking about there's a significant subset of people that should be subscribed to Jackie and they are not. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. She right. Said, like, don't, I ain't saying don't support. <clears throat> Everybody got to get their money. <coughs> now that spice it back in my throat. Boy, well, it shouldn't have got it spicy. <laughs> But I'm saying also support others because people always want to ask, oh, well, why ain't a black person over here doing this? Because, because y'all don't want, put them there. Yeah, y'all don't support them. Right. You don't help them get to that level. So since you didn't help them get to that level, now you make it. Exactly. Because all the black people, y'all turn to start messing their makeup at what, 13? Before then. <laughs> and then y'all don't stop. It be to the death. So all these black women, men, y'all don't none of y'all want to subscribe to that lady. Only what? Three million you said? Mm -hmm. Listen. There are billions of people on YouTube. Everybody and their granddaddy <laughs> and grandmama on YouTube now. Look, we on YouTube now. Right. Okay. So, don't come to me looking for no makeup. <laughs> and like I said, when you do, like, I'm, I'm subscribed to some white people. You know, like I said, not saying don't subscribe. I'm just saying to those, but I'm also subscribed to people who look like me. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying unsubscribe from people, none of that. I'm just saying mm -hmm. 
subscribe to people who look like you as well. And that goes back into, I think we touched on this in one of your videos before. There is so much self-hate in the black community. People don't like their own skin color. So they definitely don't want to see it in other people. And which I is know, sad. That's really sad. I know Jackie gets so many hate comments. And right. Stuff. She definitely From does. her own people and right. from the racist people. Because I know if I get hate comments from the racist people, <laughs> with, my, with my not even right. 100 subscribers, I know I can only imagine what she be getting. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all now. I think I didn't tell y'all. If I'm watching something on YouTube and I don't like it, I don't stop hitting the dislike button unless it's racist. But if it's just something that ain't for me, I'm not going to hit the dislike button. I'm just going to mind my business on somebody else's video. Right. Because I don't want to put that negative interaction on their page. I'm not trying to hate on nobody. I want them, everybody to be successful. Just okay. like I want my page to grow. All right. But... Y'all gotta start with the negative stuff. Like, even, like I was just saying, it seems like YouTube only pushes my stuff out to racist people. <laughs> it's always random racist. On the video, I talked about it before, on my workout video, a racist dude. On this one, a racist dude and a dumb dude. <laughs> like, I'm glad you're pushing it, but how about you push it to a different demographic? Push it to the black people who appreciate it. Right. Like, because in my video about, what was it called? Black man use white man to pass to use the N-word. Mm -hmm. It was a good video, if I do say so myself. If, if you I have do not say so it, myself. If you have not watched it. it you should check it out. But if we look and you, people want to talk about the difference in money, the difference in all type of stuff, it all boils down to the fact that black people try to do things and other black people don't support them. Like, yep. <clears throat> you hate on them because it ain't you. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to hate on them because there's plenty of money out here for everybody. Right. All they doing is printing it off. That is literally exactly what they're doing. Did you taste the egg? Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, I ate the skin, too. Yeah, I probably will on some of the other ones, but... <laughs> mm. I could have been throwing down over here. Right, because I've been throwing <laughs> up to the south end. This ain't even my channel. Listen. But it is something that's near and dear to my heart, because I see it as... And honestly, like, I'm kind of in the luxury space, basically. And I was telling one of my friends, um, even, like, if I eventually branch out, I would say, oh, I'm not doing luxury anymore. I don't know on what planet I would say that. But she really <laughs> rich. if that, you know, were to happen, like, I would still always try to be in the luxury space because... They're like black women in luxury, like it's such a spotlight on that now. 